the farm fields of the American Midwest. I live here, too. I'm a kind of wildflower growing near the crops. Each spring, I wait for a pollinator to sweep in from far away. I thrive across North America, but I'm considered a weed. Milkweed, people call me, because of my special sap. I make a milky poison that can sicken many animals that might feed on me. But I also produce sweet nectar that draws a kind of beautiful pollinator from a hidden retreat more than a thousand miles away. In a forest on a mountain in central Mexico, monarch butterflies are amassed by the tens of millions, waiting for the rising sun to energize their bodies. In clusters so dense, they can bend the trees they rest and prepare themselves for the long journey northward to reach the milkweed. Every autumn, to avoid freezing in the north, they fly here from as far away as Canada and perch in fir trees at an elevation of more than 11,000 feet. It's the perfect climate to help them conserve energy through the winter. As the morning sun warms their wings, they begin to cascade downward. To stay alive, they must rely on stored fat they accumulated last fall. But to turn fat into energy, they need water. Their mission each day is to search for a drink of water.
They must maintain their strength for the exhausting flight from here to the southern U.S. From there, the children and grandchildren of these monarchs will journey on northward through the summer to Canada. thirst quenched. The monarchs return to the trees by late afternoon. By next autumn, their great-great-grandchildren will return to these same forests. set out on the longest migration of any butterfly on earth to reach a little noticed weed half a continent away <laughs> <laughs> 